Hey there, are you ready for our next riveting experience? Well, buckle up, the fun and excitement is about to begin. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Pleasure to have you back, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm just gonna give you a quick review of my hunting shed. Um, I just thought it'd be fun for people to see what kind of facilities I have when I go hunting and, and uh, um, where I stay and, and how homey it is, or homely. <laughs> we, uh, we have officially dubbed this the Shed Toe. Um, it's just a 10 by 12 uh, shed and um, I have some beds and table and stuff in there. So I'll show you everything that's in there, just give you an idea. I'll give you a walkthrough of the shed. All right. Let's take a look at it. It seems like every time I come in here, I find something new. And uh, before we do the walkthrough, I'm just going to show you the mess that I found when I got here. Oh, God, the little bastards. Um, I have a wood stove here to heat the shed. It keeps things relatively warm in the winter if I want to come up here in December, January, whatever to hunt. Um, I, I can stoke up the stove and it'll keep this small little shed super warm. It's fantastic. But one of the things I noticed is it takes a while for it to warm up. And part of that is, is it's got a metal roof and it's got pretty thin walls. So I thought, well, if I added a little insulation, particularly on this back wall, it has some metallic on it. It'll reflect the light back or the heat back into the room and it'll warm things up quicker. And that's true. It does do that and it's really quite effective. And the reason why I did this is I glued it to the wall because I thought, well, if it's on the wall, we won't, I won't have mice climbing in behind it or rats and it'll be relatively benign to the rodents that uh, occasionally visit the shed. Well, for some odd reason, whatever this guy was, either red squirrel, rat, it's, it's a big it's a big animal because it's done a lot of chewing here. So either a red squirrel or a rat has gotten in here and decided that the styrofoam would make good bedding. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe they like the noise that it makes when I chewed on it, but they chewed it all to hell here, um, which is frustrating. You saw I have more of it outside. I can glue more on. Uh, it's just a pain in the ass to clean it off and do it again. <sighs> God. So um, this is what they've done to it. Uh, I'll have to bring up a vacuum cleaner. I have a battery powered vacuum cleaner. I'll just come up and clean that all up. But very, very frustrating. The mess that a rodent can make uh, in really short time. And it, what's funny is it looks like they've started to create a bed up here uh, in the corner, uh, but that's empty. It's not finished. And I don't think that they plan on finishing it. I think whoever it was gave up on it. <laughs> Um, so I'll just clean that up before I go home today. All right, so let's just take a look at what, um, how things work here. So this is my, uh, fold down bed and, um, I don't know if you saw it here, but we have a rat or squirrel bean right there. And so the reason why I have them folded up on hinges here is so that I don't come in and find rat beans all over my sleeping area. Uh, it keeps the rodents off of the, uh, the flat surface there. So that's how the bed works. Um, I also have um, another bed on this side here. And uh, we have uh, folding chairs that we keep. And then I also have here in the center is a fold down table. <clears throat> and it's camouflaged because, you know, hunting cabin. Um, and that folds down like that. I have behind here um, a window and that also just keeps uh, the human vermin out if the, if the window's boarded up. So I can screw that shut when I leave. And then this can also be held up uh, via latch on the ceiling. So when the beds are down, in fact, I'll put this one down just so you can see. This, this table then functions as a booth. We can play cards, um, eat our dinner, 
Um, shoot the bull, which is what most people do in hunting camp. All that's uh, really convenient to have in the table here. And there's obviously the bed on the other side. All right, let's look at the kitchen. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. Um, this, uh, this surface here is where the water tank goes and the spigot then hangs down over uh, the sink. All this was is a stainless steel uh, bowl that I got from the, the local thrift store. Drilled a hole in the bottom of it and put uh, a drain on it. And that drain goes through the floor and out to the back of the shed and just drains on the ground. So no food waste or anything like that it goes in there. It's just water, maybe some gray water, maybe some soapy water. That's the, the most of what goes down there. Most of it is just water that spills over from when you're filling up pots and pans and stuff. So the sink does... Basically, it allows you to drain excess water out of the cabin without having to open the door. <laughs> That's essentially what that sink's there for. Um, uh, we have some soap, hand cleaner. We've got a very sophisticated towel rack here. Uh, a mirror for when you need to shave or brush your teeth. Uh, and then I have a couple pots and pans that were also from the thrift store that I keep here. Um, so that's the... That's the kitchen. Uh, and I have some uh, butchering stuff that I, you know, plastic bags and some other stuff up there that I, I keep uh, in uh, relatively mouse proof boxes. Now, I, being a, an electrician, um, occasionally you run across some metal boxes that get tossed out from the job sites. That's what this guy is. I can just put food and stuff in here for um, for storage when I'm here and I don't have to worry about the rodents getting in there. Okay, there's my wood stove. And um, I do have a video. Maybe I'll put some of that. Uh, I'll at least link the video for the wood stove uh, with the fire in it so you can see how that works. Uh, it's basically a, an upside down... Um, gas tank, propane tank. Um, I just left the, the handle on there to, to uh, bolt the legs to. I didn't have a welder at the time. So everything's, everything here is put together via bolts. Um, it's got a, uh, a vent in the front and by how much um, gap you leave in that vent is how much uh, airflow you get into the stove and you can put it all the way back and it's relatively tight. The, the door is just a piece of metal that I bent up to the same curve and that um, is just held on with a um, handmade latch. The pipe um, is the one thing that fails on most of the wood stove installations and so I didn't want to have to deal with that on a semi-regular basis. So this is actually stainless steel pipe. I uh, found a, a a source for that in Washington State here and um, up at the top where it goes through the ceiling we have uh, insulated pipe so that I get uh, very little uh, um, creosote build up because when it gets to where it's cold we have insulated pipe so it stays relatively warm all the way to the point where the smoke leaves the leaves the end of the pipe now I do have to clean that out occasionally uh, it's probably actually time to do that now um, but that's the uh, that's the wood stove. So you have now seen well, not everything, I guess. Uh, I also have across the entire top of the shed here. I have um, coat hangers. So here in the Pacific Northwest, it rains a lot, and so yeah, we uh, we have to be prepared for wet clothes. So there you go. That's that's the uh, that's the wood stove, or that's the wood stove. That's the shed. That's the old hunting shed tow. Well, if you like this video, you know what I'm going to say next. It's free. <laughs> like and subscribe. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys stopping by.